What's up, everybody? Welcome back to uh, Rule Zero EDH. I'm your host, Cameron, joined by Ian. Say hi, Ian. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ian. Job. And today we're doing a EDH ban list tier list. So just kind of like looking at the ban cards and uh, where they rank on this arbitrary tier list. Our opinion probably means nothing, but this is fun. Yeah. And obviously the cards that are... Um have the anti on them and cards that use uh like racist art or stuff on it we're not gonna go yeah, over because those yeah, should stay gone forever those are yeah. self-explanatory we're just gonna yeah. do like the currently banned cards like in the list if you like the video make sure to like it and even if you subscribe ian will cash app you ten dollars yeah <laughs> yep i'll do that <laughs> all right first we got Talarian academy uh yes. i would uh, I, I, I thought exiled for a second, but then like, why is Gaia's Cradle legal? Yeah, I think I think we just don't unban. I, I so. agree. It doesn't add I anything. Think so it just makes guys, everything I think so much better. Gaia's Cradle, yeah, and artifacts just stay on the field for so much longer and are hard to get rid of. And That's true. It's just it's just it's easier to break because Gaia's yeah. Cradle at least is hard to like. Sometimes it doesn't work well. It doesn't not it's rarely, but sometimes Gaia's Cradle is just like, oh, I have no creatures. That sucks. Yeah, rarely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but still, it happens. <laughs> but Talarian Academy, you're going to have artifacts most of the time. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Too busted. Uh, All right, next we got Ancestral Recall. Exiled. Uh, <laughs> exiled from existence. I, I agree. We, we don't need to explain card that. In EDH. Yeah. <laughs> it draws too many cards. Yep. I don't. Th I don't think we really need to go into that. Next we got Balance. I'm on unban it for balance. Remind me what this does again. Yeah. I think it's, it's good. Just really, it's just aggressively mean. Yeah, I think unban it. Or maybe even could unban. But I think... Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those things that like you could unban it. And it's more of just like a like a table thing that you talk about. Like, hey, I have this card and I'm going to use it probably. I'm, I'm pretty partial to it. I love this card. Yeah. I feel like it's kind of like using the well, same thing with like Armageddon or any like land destruction. Like as long as you have the talk with people beforehand, and yeah. you just rule zero it, you'll be like, you'll probably be fine. All right, next we got Yogmoth's Bargain. I love this card. Okay, but. <laughs> but, but don't, but. I think don't unban. I think don't unban, right? Yeah, I, one life yeah. per card is yeah. not okay ever it's it's pretty good i like it like but you have to skip your draw step is huge oh step. no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next we got biorhythm um i'm i'm all for unban it i agree like it's 10 mana whatever yeah and like there's already a creature that does it which exactly. is exactly so and i mean there is the whole, the whole thing with like having to wait a turn to use that creatures I forget his name but yeah yeah I know I, i'll put it up about. I but think it's fine. It's it's a huge spell, you know. Like there's there's it ends spells the game. that cost less that ends the game. It it ends the game in quicker time and expropriate would, and it costs. I, under, I understand that like it's not within like the because expropriate like yeah you're gonna win the game but you have to have like some other way of winning the game aside from expropriate. It, you're gonna meander through it exactly at least this yeah but you're going it. to win yeah. but biorhythm is just a faster win. I agree. Okay. So. Uh, we got Black Lotus. That's uh... uh. I'm gonna put that in Sheldon Lock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet. But no, that's exiled from existence. Yeah, it's nope, just... never. Yeah, mm -mm, mm -mm. It, it's too good. Yep. Play Garth if you want to play it. Play Garth. There you go. Next we got Raids, the bad one, not the good one. I'm on. Don't unban it. Cause that's just really? like, it would sacrifice. If you just ramp this out, it's not fun. Like if you give this it's out on turn fun. two, you're playing a game. You give this I, out on turn two, your opponent gets down turn two. You never get to play the game. Like you're like, okay, upkeep, sacrifice my land. It's okay, not. A, it's not, definitely not a fun commander, but like there's plenty of not fun commanders. I'm sure yeah. there's a way you could build this to make it interesting and fun. Mm, I'm on Maybe donut band. That car, it's, okay. it's miserable. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let you have this. I'll let you have this. Okay. Yeah. Next, we got Channel. <laughs> I'm on Don't Unban. Yeah, no, this is crazy card. Yeah. Uh, again, like, just because it's way too powerful and just like you cast and you're like, cool, I'm going to spend, you know, 30 life and then just dump my hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but a lot of this is the thing with a lot of these cards is that like you just win if you cast it. So it's more, I feel like it's more about like the spirit of Commander, what these cards do to it. And more like, like yeah, because channel thing, not was ev made for not 20 every life deck, too. Not every you know? deck is going to be playing Biorhythm, you know? Like it's only some decks will be playing that. Some decks will play um, uh, like Balance. 
every single deck would play channel. Like every green deck would play channel because it's just it, it's the it would be the best uh, uh ritual essentially. And I think there's something to say for like channel and Yagmoth's bargain where like balance at twenty and still yeah. broken. Let alone when you double yeah. your life total. Uh, next we got Chaos Orb. It's just a weird dexterity card. Yeah, it's it's just it's not. Uh, you should uh, you could you I, could I, unband I, it, but just yeah, why? But like, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna. What do you think? Don't I think could unban, but probably will never be. There's no need to. There's no need to. It's just, it's, yeah. I don't think we need to explain that too much. Just because you have to like drop, you have to drop it from like it, a couple feet above the table, right? It's weird. Yeah. All right. Next we got Coalition Victory. I don't know. It's five mana. So like you have to play it in a five mana deck. I, yeah. I'm kind of unban it. I'm kind of on that too. Like it checks instantly all the time. I think not an upkeep. Yeah. But yeah. Um, so like it, it just wins you the game, which again is kind of stupid. And is it like, like one land like, of each basic land type too? So it's like you need like triumphs yeah. count for three, right? Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not hard. This card isn't hard to win with. Like it's really no. not. But again, I think it's five mana. So you I think you could unban it. It's not very decks. fun. I think it get boring I pretty mean, quick. Yeah. It ends games, but yeah. Then we got Emrakul. Uh, yeah. I'm on unban it, man. I'm on unban it too. I, I I would hate to play against it, but I'm totally. <laughs> it's 15 mana. Yeah, like, you're gonna cheat it to play. If you're paying 15 cares? mana for something, I don't care. You know, it, like okay, you have it. No one's playing 15 for it. I mean, maybe no, some people are I mean, paying 15 not, for it, but, but still. like, still, I I don't know. It's it's, it's no different than like sneak attack bite. Still, it, you uh, lose. It, it is like it is awful to play against. Like you would hate to see it on your on your enemy side but like there's plenty <laughs> of spells that are like that it's i don't sick. think that i don't think it warps the format in any real negative way really then we got a uh, paradox engine don't unban yeah i'm on don't unban i played don't it I, this. mainly it took so long when and it's not like it makes games just drag out super long i remember i remember because i got into commander a little bit before this was banned okay so i played against it a little bit and it was very, if you remember, it was very like, okay, my opponent might win here. He yeah. might not hit everything he needs, though. So it's like, yeah. it's not always defined. Like, it's not always they're going infinite 100% for sure. So it's like, no. you just got to sit there and like, it, oh, they won anyway. Just, I just sat there for 10 minutes. Cool. <laughs> it doesn't make games fun. It makes games very, like, just like boring and you're just spinning wheels the whole time. Yeah. All right. Next, we got Arayo, or Tommy Ascendant. Um,. That's not fun. I think that's like it's brains. not. It's not it's, terribly hard to flip either, especially no, if you get your commander. I think it's on the same thing as braids. You it's think just, so? Yeah. It. It's not fun. Yeah. It's miserable. It's like cool. I'm like you don't really win with it. It's just it's just a pain to deal against. Deal deal. It's a pain to play against. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just not well. Like, should we like judge these off of like what we think is fun or not? Well, that's part like, of Commander. Are you playing Commander? Like, why? Why else do you play Commander? Yeah, for not that's having true. fun. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But like, fun to me is different for fun for you. Like, some people really enjoy playing stacks. Some people really enjoy this. So, cool. like, why don't we just unban? Why don't we just ban all the stacks pieces? Because yeah. they're not fun to play again. They're not fun. Yeah. So I, I think I think there is an, an argument for it to be here. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it there for now. All right. All right. Uh, next we got Starfall. It's just one of those weird dexterity cards yeah. again. So it's like could yeah. unban, but why would you? I think you could. Yeah. Like Chaos Orb, same thing. Yeah, but like there's there's no reason. Oh, I guess I'll put it there. Yes, yeah. it's in the same vein as Chaos Orb, just because it's, it's like weird. dexterity stuff. Yep. Uh, what does that card do, by the way? No idea. What's this next one? Is it Gifts Ungiven? That is Gifts Ungiven, baby. It. Uh, I think you could do? unban it. There's like what intuition. Does do what does it do? What does it do? What does it do? You can search your library for up to four cards. Uh, the player yeah. chooses two of them and puts those yeah. two cards in your graveyard. The other two go in your hand. So you this can card just, means like, you win. Yeah, they, probably. But like intuition, you means have to you build a deck around it. But I yeah. mean, yeah, they're, they're very similar cards. So could unban it. No need to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's another tutor. It's another just like, hey, I win the game. Yeah. I'm not a fan of tutors, but whatever. I mean, neither. Kind of boring. Yeah. Uh, then we got Fast Bond. Uh, Fast Bond! I think it's Exiled forever. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Cause Don't play this card. If you ever got, like, you have Fast Bond, Strip Mine, Crucible World, it's like, oh, you don't get any more lands ever. It's, it's, 
it's just in the same vein as the power nine kind of whereas you just like don't play it yeah it's good uh yeah we got flash now um it here's the thing i never got to play against it i know that you just use it with protean hulk usually and that's how you win yeah games. it i know it's you, like the you one band it, so. that the rules committee like went for for cdh like it's completely 100 percent for cdh so like i guess yeah. don't unban it but like isn't just oracle better now than flash no is flash better yeah okay okay probably don't unban it it's whatever don't unban it okay I'm, i I don't think i know enough about this i know exactly what it does but i just i never got to experience it really yeah so uh golos i'm on oh, we got golos. sheldon lost to it i'm on sheldon lost to it yeah no get, i hate what the, the explanation made me so mad because it was it like didn't make well it's sense. the most like if you just have a generic deck for like what's five colors just golos automatically became your commander well which is okay i think guess what fine. now kenrith is that we're gonna ban kenrith yeah it, it doesn't the next matter best five like, color it, yeah i i get it's uh, good it's super good so are like, a lot it, of like, cards. I, I know a lot of people who like use this deck to for like shrines. They used it for uh, gates. They used it for a bunch of different things. I've seen like a colorless Golos deck, and that was super. Yeah, cool. and I, that was a really I, cool I, deck. I, I like how he like gives you a lot of creative freedom. I thought yeah. was really cool. Yeah, but he gone. Sorry, Sheldon. <laughs> Next we got Crystal Brand. Oh. Yeah, I love this boy. I love him, but uh, don't unban him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, was, I was watching him like, all right, what are you doing? No, I, you doing? I, I love Crystal Brand. I love him so much. He's he's my boy. He's my he's little good. baby. I love him. But yeah, Too don't good. abandon him. Yep. Doesn't really transfer. Then we got a whole breacher. I feel uh, like we're going to oh. have that don't unban thing be pretty long. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's fair. I think it's fine. It's kind of miserable. Like, it has to have flash, really. Because it's one of those things where, like, when you when you play it, it you can't ban all the other cards that make it good. Because it just makes so many other cards just broken. Like yeah. Any wheel you play is now insane with Whole Breacher. It's it's so good. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. It is what it is. You, which is really sad because I have a pirate themed deck. And it's so fun <laughs> in my pirate deck. Because sure, I don't great. use it for like wheels. I just use it to be like, gotcha. When someone's like, I'm going to draw four cards or something. It's still too good, I think. I know. It's still really, really good. I just ha I just like my pirate deck. Uh, We got Iona. Ion Iona, right? That's how you say it? Yeah, Iona. Iona. You got it. We got Iona. Um, oh, man. I'm very much do not very much unban or even exile just because it nukes someone's deck. You could just be like, hey, you don't, you in particular don't get to play magic, which yeah, I think that's not is fun. very, like, I'm very much like exiled from existence on this card. What do you think? I'm on don't unban it. I don't think it's like don't unban. Mox power level. It's not, but like, it just completely wrecks the whole idea of commander. Yeah. I think. Spoiler alert. That's where the moxes yeah. are going. Let's go ahead and put the moxes I mean, up there. Might as well, since we'll I there. ruined we'll it. There. <laughs> I, I'm I'm definitely on at least on, don't unban, like if not exiled, because it just makes one or two players just unable to play the game sometimes. Yeah, it's not fun. So, I've never seen it cast. I yeah. imagine it's not fun. I'd be... No, I had a cast against me once. I, I, it did not matter. I don't, I was I don't deck, see... But. I don't see a way where you can like build her either to make her like fair, you know? No, it's not fun. I agree. Yeah. Okay, I'm cool with it there. Cause like, I'll, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we got Caracas. I'm on Exile Caracas. for it. Cause Remind it just, me what this does. I forget. Uh, it taps for a white. It's a legendary land, or not land legendary, legendary land, <laughs> or you could tap it and return target legendary creature to its owner's hand. So it's yep. just a white it land sense. with no downside, and the upside is your opponents never get their commander. Yeah. Not fun. Next, we got Leovold. Ugh, my good old elf boy. We're going to just put him right there. I'm well, just, just gonna leave him right I think there. we should unban it because I pulled a foil on. Oh, I sorry. No, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. same thing. Whole breach. Same thing. But it's on you your, can't it's build it in a way that's not mean. Yeah, yeah it's. Don't unban it. Yeah, There's no point. Uh, then we got Library of Alexandria. Alexandria, yeah. Whoop. Library of Alexandria. I think you could unban it. You think so? How How often it, do you have... Well, I don't think it's better than I think Gaius the only Cradle. problem is that if you unban it, it goes in everything. You don't not put it in something. So does Sol Ring. Touche. And Mana Crypt. Well, yeah. But Mana Crypt is more of a Or Fetchlands. Or duels. 
but yeah, like, but we don't no, ban like, stuff for that. You don't. You don't have to play those cards. Like, you should. I feel like you don't need to play library. Okay, you, yeah. You okay. don't need to play Soul Ring. I think you could unban it. I don't think it contributes anything, but you could. Yeah, it, it would become just like a, another Soul Ring. Like sometimes you just yeah. get it, and you just 100%. get a big advantage over over everyone else. And it's just. It's better in 1v1 because, like, if you're trading 1v1 one for 1 with removal spells yeah. for creatures, yeah. and you always get to draw the extra card. Okay, but now like, that you're, if you're playing that, now commander, that we're talking about it. If you're yeah. trading 1 for 1 in commander, that will catch up to you if that's all you're doing is just destroying one creature. Yeah, okay. I, I see the argument. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. Next, we got limited resources. Um, This is a one mana enchantment that says mm -hmm. you can only have five lands. In a limited podcast. Yeah. Um, uh, don't unban it. That's not fun. Don't, don't unban, you think? Yeah, it's like uh, Armageddon. Yeah. It's not different than yeah. Armageddon. Except yeah, for Armageddon is lingers. I'm on don't unban. Yeah. Our favorite okay. tier. Okay. Uh, next we got Lutri. I'm on Lutri. Exiled. Yep. For Just obvious reasons. It's, it goes it's under like, Soul Ring is free, but the downside of Soul Ring is it takes up a slot in your deck. This yep, doesn't this take doesn't. up any 99 it existed its own little special zone that they made for it so it works in the and game. if you're playing is it you put it in because you have no other reason not to it's even just, if you're not playing a spell slinger deck it's still just you just put it in yeah i don't i don't like that that's weird yeah. uh next we got recurring nightmare i'm for unban this oh thank you i have too this is one of my favorite you are too time yeah oh, one i got a i drafted it last night it was fun it's really good Love like it. it's it, it's a fantastic card. Um, I and like I'm sure there's a lot of loops you can do with it and stuff. But there's a lot of loops you can do with anything. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, with, yeah I, there is. So I think I, you're totally cool. Plus, it's I, really cool. EDH is just inherently a broken format, and the only thing that keeps it together is just people having fun with it. And there's yeah, no, I like, agree. There's no prize for winning a game besides your ego. No. no. Yeah. Um, next we got Panoptic Mirror. It's just five mana imprint, and then you get to put something imprinted underneath it, and then you pay its mana let's, cost. Let's, you put, get let's put a time warp underneath it. How yeah, about that? I think you, it's in the same, I think it's around this, yeah, I think you could, but it's just like, why would you? Yeah. It's a two card combo. There's a lot of two card combos. It's there just could not be some. It's fun. one of those things where like you could just break it, but also you could use it for some other like weird shenanigans. Yeah, I think you could. It's just there's there's probably no need to. But yeah. yeah. Next we got Sylvan Primordial. I'm on uh, don't unban. I don't think it scales to having four people. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on don't unban it. I think it's just one of those things like it doesn't scale with the format. It, okay, I'm I'm gonna trust you on that. It sounds like it, sh it sounds disgusting, but you sound like one v one. It was made to okay destroy something, get a land, and this it's like okay destroy three destroy things, three get things, three, get three lands. lands. Yeah, yeah but you just blink it. I actually really like the primordial cycle a lot, though. It's it is cool. It's fun. Molten primordial, great card. I I miss when like cards were designed without EDH in mind, because you get cool mm -hmm. stuff like that. But sometimes yeah. you get busted stuff like that. But that's okay. We got Prophet of Corifix. Uh I didn't play back then. I, I mean, it's it's just you could. I don't think you should, but yeah, you could. You could. It's boring. Yeah, it's kind of like kind of. Like, I it's, think you had kind of like Paradox Engine a little bit, where yeah. like you could unban it and then you're just doing crap load of things. But sometimes you just don't win, even though you're just doing so much. You probably win with this in play, but it's like you know, like when the player gets like Seaborn Muse and like Vidalcan or Ariel. Yeah, so yeah, like it's just. Like, it's just it, you just want your life to end, but it's not. Yeah, it's just not. Yeah, I, th I think I don't think we need to say more about that. Yeah, that makes I agree. Uh, next, we got Rafelos, a uh, good old elf boy who taps for all of your uh, forests. Um, could be your commander. Yeah, I mean it's just good. I mean we have Marwin who like is also really easy to break. Who does something really similar. Yeah, that's true. I agree. I mean. God, it's, it's probably, probably no. I think it's it's almost harder to put more force in play, but it is. I than elves. Like it's probably on, easier. I honestly elf think bar. you could unban this. I think you, you think? could. I don't think it's an unban. I think it's like you could. You can you consider think could it. Unban? Yeah, I think one up. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's fair. Oh, we got the moxes. We got. I'm just gonna throw all of these yep. up here real go. quick. They're good. Don't mind me. Just give me. 
Give me a second. Do, 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 do. Cost zero Ooh. tap for one. There Not we fun. go. Don't worry about it. They're just they're just there. They're just there. Uh, next we got trade secrets. Um. Yeah. I think you don't unban it. It's just one of those things. Like it wasn't made around when EDH was a not, thing. Not, it just not, doesn't. Not exile. Yeah, you can exile. You can exile it. Okay. I, it, yeah. It was. It, they did not think this through when they when they made this card. I think. Well, it was it was early in Magic. Yeah. Well, like, it was it, made for Commander, wasn't it? Huh? Wasn't it made in a Commander set? It was reprinted in a Commander set. It was. Was, it re, was that what it was? Set. Oh, it wasn't yeah. made. It was reprinted yeah. for a Commander set. But gotcha. It's, yeah, it's not like in one v one. There's like actual play to it, but mm -hmm. Commander, it's pretty boring for two people. To yeah. Do that. Yeah. All right, now we got Sway of the Stars. There's like a whole, there's a lot of these cards that do this. I mean, they they just unbanned, unbanned one. They did uh, the red one. What is it called? Unban it. I, I think unban it. Yeah, because I mean, I've never seen. Really have you similar. seen that card played yet? World Fire. One? World Fire. <laughs> have you seen it cast yet? No. Me neither. No. People don't want to play it. People don't want to play it. Next we got Sundering Titan. Ah, Sundering Titan. Yeah. Um, what do you think? You could. Probably not oh, fun. Because oh, 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 what's oh, the difference oh, between this and Armageddon oh, besides oh. you can repeatedly do it? <laughs> it's a pretty good gift. The fact that you can repeatedly do it. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't hit all what's your What's the lands. difference? Just don't play basics and you're fine. Like, yeah, you don't, yeah just don't play basics. Yeah, or shocks I'm, or duels. I'm kind of for a don't one man. Yeah. Honestly. All right, that makes sense. Yeah? Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Uh, next we got Tinker. I, I pulled one of these in the from the list once and I didn't know that it was banned. And I played it in the deck because I was like, this card's so good. I don't know why people don't play this more often. I did that with Caracas. That's funny. Oh, really? I, when I first started playing, I'm like, this is insane. Yeah. Why is this card so cheap? <laughs> but Caracas is not, though. Caracas is not cheap, no. Uh, I'm just going to put Don't on ban, I think. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Both yeah. Citadel win the game. Or not win the game, maybe yeah. take 20 minutes and not win the game. But yeah. not yeah. fun. Uh, awesome card, but not fun. We got Primeval Titan. Um, Primeval! Prime time. I love the card, what? but yeah, yeah, it is yeah, so uh, good. Uh, 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 you could. Uh, it just probably doesn't attribute to anything. Contribute. Yeah. It's just, it's so good. But, like, it's kind of the same idea of, like, Prophet of Krufrix. Like, it's so good. and you, But you could unban it. Like, it's not going to... I don't know. Like, yeah. you, does, does this warp the format? I think every green deck plays it. If you do it, which so yeah. does Soaring. Like we already argue it's not a thing. So, Soaring is a different conversation, I think, a little bit. So, I guess see, I think? didn't play EDH when it was unbanned, but everyone always says like it became all about it. Okay, okay, all okay that we'll put it. Up, but... Okay, I'm gonna trust the masses on that one. Sure. Next, we got upheaval. I'm for unban it. Same same argument as us uh, uh, sway the stars, like. Can I'm just... on don't unban it because at least Sway of the Stars, the game probably ends. This one, you just take forever <sighs> after. <laughs> like, because it puts the person who plays it in a good position to win. Yeah. But it might take a little bit. Okay, you know what? Yeah, okay, I'll take that. I'll take it. Uh, next, we got Time Vault. Uh, this just Get out wins a game with Get any out. like Voltaic. Get out of here. Yeah, Get out. yeah. Get out. Out. Voltaic Get out. key or out. something. Manifold key. <laughs> Takes infinite turns. Yeah. It's, it's really good. Yep. Really good. Oh, speaking of really good, you know what we got <laughs> next? We got Time Walk. I'm pretty sure Sheldon just lost. Yeah, card, you bet. Yeah, it's not that good. Honestly, two uh -huh. mana taking extra turn. Like, come on. Panoptic yeah. Mirror is better than that because I can take all the turns. Like, seriously. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, get out of here. Our last one is Shaharzard. It is... Uh, probably not fun. I've never played against it. I couldn't tell you on first Me neither. experience. I may, you know what? Maybe it's actually a really fun card. That we <laughs> yeah, oh, I bet. It, yeah, is it only two? Is it all players or two players play a sub game? Uh, I don't know, actually. Let's look it up. <laughs> players. Players must uh, leave game in progress. So, so I'm going to go, I'm going to put it on a bandit because I'm pretty sure like we just haven't played it, you know, I'm sure it wouldn't be that bad. It doesn't warp the format. No, absolutely not. It probably, yeah, no one cool. would play it, I'm sure, but exile, yeah. it's gone. Should, it's we, like should we, should we, should we put it almost down here? You think? What do you think? Do you no, think? I don't, I don't think that no? game ever finished Unbanded? whatever game you played in. <laughs> cool. I think exile just because it's like one of those I'm gonna, like, anti yeah. cards, you know? Yeah. Um, find a way of, find a way of playing this with your, um, with your Kark deck. 
See how that goes. Rules are put put that away. <laughs> Get that out of here. Okay, 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 okay. So nice. If we're playing a game, me and you and I, or mm -hmm. me and the audience, and mm -hmm. I cast a Shaharzard, mm -hmm. that is on the stack resolving mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in that game. Mm -hmm. In our new sub game, I can play mm -hmm. a burning wish and search for an instant or sorcery outside okay. the game, which in which I allows me to grab that Shaharzard that's still resolving in the first game and cast it in the sub game. So we go one level deeper and so on. <laughs> and so he could just Inception and magic. <laughs> Inception magic. Yeah. Uh, parting thoughts. You, you get to unban one. What are you unbanning? Oh, if I had to unban one thing, mm -hmm. recurring nightmare. Absolutely. I agree. That's mine too. That's amazing. I love that. I part. agree. Super sick. That and whole preacher for my pirate deck. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you have to get it played against. I don't care. Oh, that's fine. Uh, any cards currently you think should be banned? No. You don't think so? Are no. you very much like very much on banned things, kind of yep. person? Very. Yeah. Hands off. Right. Pretty. I like it. I like it. Play Canadian Highlanders is what we're doing here today. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a like and please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, well, I guess we'll see you in the next couple of weeks, whatever we have next. I don't think we have planned what we're doing next, do we? Not yet. We'll figure it out. Follow me on Instagram at holding underscore priority. And you can follow me at real zero EDH also on Twitter now. So and yeah. comment below. Uh, tell us how awfully wrong. Like you can never unban recurring nightmare. It goes infinite with these three yeah. cards. What would you unban? <laughs> Uh, also leave a comment if you have certain videos you want us to do. We are yeah. very open to trying new things. We so are. yeah. Okay, guys, have a good one. See you next time. All right, this is our magic minute madness where we will talk about whatever we want outside the video topic. Phyrexia. March of the Machines, man. Oh, what? I am so excited. No, I am so excited. Specifically, I, am... I want your opinion on uh, the... They kind of like did the Pokemon thing where it's like two characters yeah, and one card. Yeah, dude, I love it. It's oh, so I cool. I am so hyped. I'm so into so it. It's hyped. so great. I want to build Gitchog and Thalia so bad. Dude, it looks like I was, so much fun. I was sitting in a car and I saw that pop up in my feed and I like audibly yelled because I was with Magic <laughs> players. I'm like, dude, I'm, so I'm like, Gitchog on... Thalia! <laughs> Thalia on Gitchrog. And my buddy, dude, he's hey, a... Dude, uh, Gargle and Multani. The Heliod is like the Theros star style, I am, too. I am oh so pumped for this set. I am so pumped. I, I am. am.